I'm getting like spray paint. Mm. Like if like you have like a, an aerosol can. Like an aerosol spray paint. Like if you went and like spray painted your house, the the toxic fumes that you would smell is what I'm smelling, mm. which is not pleasant. No. Let us expand our appreciation for all of our favorite beverages through the stories and places that bring them to life. Welcome to Cork and Java. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to CorkandJava.com. I'm Billy, and this is Bryn. And we are continuing today with another episode in our series of celebrity-owned uh, liquors. <laughs> <laughs> always pause when you get to liquors. Um, I almost said cocktails, but that's wrong. So, <laughs> yeah. So today we got Brian Cranston and Aaron, what's his face? Paul. Paul. Uh, they're Mezcal. And we're going to be trying this one out. Um, of course, if you don't know, they are the two famous actors from Breaking Bad, one of our favorite TV shows. And so we're excited to try uh, their product here. Um, so if you aren't familiar with mezcal you know it's that liquor that kind of like tequila that typically has that worm at the bottom of the bottle although it's not really a worm it's actually a larva of course this bottle fortunately does not have a worm or scorpion or anything at the bottom which i'm thankful for um but yeah it comes from the agave plant just like tequila does but it's actually a different like breed of agave. Actually, I'm pretty sure all tequila is a subcategory of mezcal, but not all mezcals are tequila. So it is similar to tequila typically. It's gonna be a little smokier typically, but the thing about mezcal is it varies so, so much from bottle to bottle, from producer to producer. I mean, I mean I've had different mezcals. You wouldn't even tell it's the, the same Product. Product. Like, it just varies so much on, like, how they taste for whatever reason. Is it, I was going to say, maybe it's the regions that they're from? Maybe, or? and maybe it's, like, how they produce it, the way that they distill Aging, or barrel yeah. age, or what, whatever. This, of course, is not barrel aged. But, um, but yeah, let's give it a, a sniff and, and see how it is. Okay. <laughs> okay. So... It's got that characteristic smokiness. Ooh, yeah. It's but, like like when we say smokiness too, I don't it's like a peaty, mossy kind of. It's less of a campfire smoke smoke to it. And more of a I don't know. Um Yeah, like a peaty like you said, almost like a um like a scotch kind of smoke, mm -hmm. but I'm getting some not very pleasant uh, notes too. It's I, very strong too. It's, yeah, it's very, very strong. <laughs> like if you stick your nose in there all the way, you're, woo. I'm getting like spray paint. Mm -hmm. Like if, like you have like a, an aerosol can. like an aerosol spray paint. Like if you went and like spray painted your house, the, the toxic fumes that you would smell is what I'm smelling, mm. which is not pleasant. No. Um, but we'll see if that changes on the palate. Okay. No. So it starts off fine. It starts off smoky, bold. I don't know. They, they. I don't even know what to say about this, man. Uh, they are, were they going for a meth lab taste on this because I feel like they were going for a meth lab taste on this. It's just like iodine and paint thinner and I don't know what goes into meth, but it tastes like chemicals. Yeah, for me it's nail the, polish remover. The aftertaste is very it's like a nail polish like acetone. This is some of the worst liquor I've ever tried to be honest. Okay, it's definitely not the worst liquor I've ever tried, but I, <laughs> it's, mm, it's freaking expensive. Oh, it's yeah. $60 for this bottle. Yeah. And it tastes like, I'm not even sure, am I going to go blind after I drink this? <laughs> uh, I'm going to hope for the best. It's like moonshine back in the 1920s, like. 
Like, there's feel something that's like, this shouldn't be ingested, but I am. Um, so, I mean, I don't know that I've had enough mezcal, especially straight. Like, I'm sure I've had it in cocktails and stuff, but is this not par for the course, you think, so with the, mezcal? Or? So, a lot of, like, when you first put it in your mouth and you get that little bit of smoke, yeah. that's typical for mezcal. Yeah, that tastes good. But this aftertaste, yeah. I've never experienced that before, and the harshness of it is also something I've never experienced in a mezcal. It's almost like a super high proof bottom shelf vodka burn uh, mixed with like an acetone, um, like nail polish remover yeah. aftertaste. That's what I feel too. It's almost like it's like you're in your medicine cabinet, like sniffing rubbing alcohol. Like it's <laughs> just not feels like something that you should be drinking mm -hmm. but i don't know yeah i mean like you can tell too like looking at the glass like it's you know it's very leggy like it's just sticking okay. to the glass too so the one positive thing i'd give about it besides i do like the smokiness at the beginning is it's got a good mouth feel mm -hmm. um it's kind of silky mm -hmm. on the on the mouth uh, which I like and is characteristics of some higher end like vodkas and like the aviation gin that we've tried had a similar mouthfeel. But I just can't get over this aftertaste, yeah, man. The aftertaste is a little off putting. Um, I tell you that like the more I sip it, I think my palate gets acquainted to it, but. Mm -hmm. I still don't like it. Well, that's what I was wondering. If maybe, like, you know, you put, a, like, an ice cube in there or something. You know what I mean? Like, you know how water, like, a drop of water is supposed to, like, open it up and let it breathe and stuff. Like, maybe something like that would help it, you no, know? No, man. I don't think so. No. There's no helping this. There's no. Which is mm. so unfortunate because, you know, I really like Brian Cranston and Aaron Paul. And I like, you know, that they have this, like, you know, they had Breaking Bad that was set up in Albuquerque. And there's, like, you know, Mexican you know, callbacks and stuff with the show. So like, I really wanted it to be just so good, like the show, but. Maybe yeah. they're just going for that, you know, making meth in a trailer in the desert aesthetic I when you're drinking. No, I don't think they would do that to us. <laughs> maybe we have a bad bottle too. Like maybe let us know if you've had this, if this is like been your experience as well. The like aftertaste is very off-putting. Yeah, yeah, if you've tried this, let us know what your thoughts were in the comments. And really just your thoughts of Mezcal, if you've had it yeah. before. Um, the All the other Mezcals I've had have been better than this. <laughs> but I don't think... They're... So Mezcal's not my favorite. I definitely prefer tequila. Tequila's a little bit more sweeter. It's, yeah. Um, less smoky. I don't mind... I actually like the I like smokiness. I like the smoke in it, though, yeah. But, um, yeah, I mean, there's just a funkiness that is hard to get around. I mean, yeah, one. like it's, I mean, it's it's a very bold flavor, but it's just the after, like after you swallow it, it just, I don't know. I don't even know how you could fix it, you know? Yeah, I mean. Like I don't even think that putting this in a cocktail or something would. I feel like you would ruin anything that you put it in. Like you would still, you'd get that. Unless it was really, really taste. sweet, you know? Like the only thing that could cut some of that chemical flare is probably something really sweet maybe man and to be honest this was the the one celebrity cocktail i was most looking forward to liquor. out of mm -hmm. but not yeah not cocktail the liquor i was most looking forward to out of out of all the ones that we researched and wanted to try i think they they took a risk with mezcal i think they probably aren't experts at liquor or you know how it's made and all of that and that's a, a theme that we've been picking up on with these celebrity liquors is they're not they're not in the industry of making liquor they're there to put their brand on on something and hopefully pick out something that suits their taste and maybe maybe this really sits well with old walter white there and maybe that's what yeah, I was going to say, maybe, I mean, like I said, this isn't our favorite drink, but, you know, maybe 
maybe other people really do like it, you know? I, I mean, we don't know anyone who's tried this personally, so who's to say? Like, maybe other people don't have the same yeah, you're right. experience, and maybe they really like that taste, so... Yeah, knows? everyone's got their own palate and their own unique preferences, yeah. so, um, yeah, I'd be interested to, to find someone who does like it. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, see what else they like. I mean, you have to really like this, especially since it's so expensive for a small bottle, you know, for mm -hmm. 60 bucks. Like, I mean, this is, you would expect it to be like primo top tier alcohol and it's, yeah, it's not for us anyway. So, yeah, well, definitely you guys, if you haven't subscribed already to the channel, it would, we would really appreciate it if you guys do. It's something like 80% of you that watch this, we looked at the analytics, aren't subscribed. So if you hit that button and the notification bell, um, that really would help us out. And also the, the thumbs up uh, to help with the YouTube algorithm as well. Yeah. But yeah, you can find us online. We're on Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter. And so until next time, guys, bottoms, bottoms up. up.